Hi guys <laughs> and welcome to Sunday which is day 18 of our Eat Only What's In The House challenge um, and this is my dinner what we're doing for dinner or what I'm doing for dinner anyway um, a few weeks back actually a couple of months ago now um, Tani found some fresh sardines that were vacuum sealed and had been marked down in price to 79p a packet and they had five in them um, he bought them he rang me up and said do you want them and I said yes please because there'll be something different you know so we grabbed them and as soon as he got them home I was thinking what am I going to do with them what am I going to do with them I know I'll put them in the freezer until I can figure out what to do with them so finally <laughs> come up with something there was a couple of things I wanted to do if I'd had more of them what I would have nice to do was actually can them um, you know how you can buy like tin sardines and stuff like that well you can make your own and it's 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 cheaper and it's better and you know what's in it there's less salt less sugar all of that stuff anywho something I remembered was when um, I was really really young and mum used to get things like mackerel or herring or fresh sardines and she would coat them in oats and just pan fry them. Well I did that with some mackerel not that long ago and Tani wasn't against it. <laughs> in fact he didn't mind it and he said he'd try it again which is cool but these are sardines so he may not so that's fine. But I figured, because they're all oily fish, it, were, it would all work very, very much the same. Now, I still have the same oat mix that I made up from then, which is basically just rolled oats with pars some dried parsley. And that's it. I didn't expect to do anything fancy with it. Um, I didn't want to do anything fancy with it, because I think that would take away from the fit taste of the fish itself. And you don't want to do that. Um, it's different if you've got a piece of cod or a piece of haddock or something like that and you want to add flavour because it doesn't have a lot of flavour of its own. Um, but sardines have their own flavour and you don't want to take that away. A lot of oily fish have their own flavour. So, yeah. So I'm going to get stuck into that and I am going to show you the gruesome bits of taking the head off, deboning, all of that kind of thing because they're whole fresh sardines. So... If you don't like that, turn away now, because <laughs> that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try it from this angle at this point. They were actually 73p, when they're normally about £3. So, a bit of a treat. Well, it is for me. <laughs> it definitely is for me. Oh, wow. Woo! Well, I'm going to have to rinse them off first, and... Yeah, we're gonna do that first, I think, because they do get a bit fishy. And you don't have to worry about that, them being very fishy, because the fish that have been in a packet at the end of the day, and what we want to do is make sure that they're all clean. Now these as well haven't been gutted by the look of it, or maybe they have been a little bit. Uh, maybe they have, yeah they have been. It's all good, I think. No, no, no. Oh, this is going to be fun, girls and boys. <laughs> Far more fun than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping that they'd at least been gutted, but apparently they haven't been, so I'm just going to have to, or if they have, they've done it in a very strange way, so. Just gonna, oh. Sorry, I'm not showing you the sink because it's pretty gross. Right. Okay, so we're going to take our little fishies. And I know I'm in my light and I'm very, very sorry for that, but you know, we've just got to 
my bench is clean. What we're going to do is we're going to take the head off first. Okay, and then we're going to go up here like this and we're going to scoop out the insidey bits. Okay, so that's all done. Then, all we want to do is going to bring that around here and go like that. Because that loosens up the backbone. Because we do not want the backbone on there. So we want that to pull reasonably straight off Ugh. but it's not doing that <laughs> it's probably because it's been in the freezer okay so just give it a little bit of a wiggle some encouragement okay just a bit of encouragement just to bring it off there we go take that bit off there because that's the tail and we don't want that either okay so not the greatest job in the world, but not the worst either, so not entirely unsatisfied by that. And just give yourself a break, okay? Don't beat yourself up if it doesn't look per restaurant perfect, you know? You're the one who's eating it. Okay, I'm just gonna get a plate very quickly and just pop that on the plate right so we've got to do that a couple more times now so five actually so down the middle and give it a squish and then we're going to pull it out we're probably going to give it a little bit of a cut up the top here so that it loosens it off from the flesh and then we can just pull the whole backbone part away and then take off the tail that's two Here we go see it's not so hard hey there we go My knives aren't as sharp as they should be, but yours probably aren't either. So, <laughs> like I said, don't beat yourself up over this stuff. It's not that important. Well, it is. I mean, it's better to have a sharp knife than a blunt knife, but, you know, let's get rid of all of that. And we're going to get rid of that. It looks like it's liver. All right, there we go flip on over and squish okay here we go this one's been very affected by the freezing process I think it's um and a bit squishier than the others but still edible still useful still okay oh shivers whoops sorry back in a minute guys okay so we've got our sardines all deboned and deep headed and all of that sort of stuff and that's our oat crumb that we're going to use. Now I've been saving up a little bit of bacon fat which I don't have as much as I thought did unfortunately so we're just going to have to make do. We're going to start off with these ones and we're going to coat them in the oats. Okay now there's no flouring or egging of these first. You just coat them in the oats this is very old school but very worth it definitely worth the effort um, let me just oh my goodness 
definitely worth the effort. Now we're just going to pull this one out, pop it on our plate there. I'm just going to turn the stove on to a medium. But we've got like about half a centimetre of oil at the bottom of the pan just to make sure that it does what it needs to. Now there's all sorts of different recipes you can do for sardines. Some people pan fry them, pop them in tomato sauce. Some people just cook them off in tomato sauce. You can roast them, you can fry them, you can do whatever you like. But today, this is me. This is what I'm doing. Okay. I like to keep things simple. Get overcomplicated when you're just trying something out for the first time or the second time or for the first time in a long time. You could end up coming a cropper. And frankly, this is just this basic little supper dish or lunch dish or whatever, probably supper dish that um, my mum used to make up. Now you can have it however you want. We just used to have it with bread and butter, frankly, because any time mum gave us fish, we always had bread and butter just in case there was bones. Because <laughs> her theory was, if you had the bread and butter with your fish, if you did get any bones, it would get wrapped up in the bread and it wouldn't hurt you on the way down. Which I can see the sense in it. Right, so there's our little, there's our little babies. All done. Now, oof, just trying to clean my fingers off. Sorry, guys. I got a little bit of water on my fingers, and we can check the temperature of the oil with that. So we're just gonna, because it's physic, it's ready. So we're just gonna pop these little babies in here. Oops. There we go. We just have to wait for those to golden up and they'll be done. Okay, now it's been about five minutes, so it's time for us to flip them over. We're just going to very gently, very carefully give them a bit of a flip. They could probably do with a couple more minutes, actually, to brown off a bit more. So I've been very careful with the heat on the um, oil at the moment because I didn't want it to cut out. So probably another five minutes and they'll be done like a dinner like a fish dinner <laughs> okay now we're just about ready I'm just gonna give this one a quick flip yeah there we go nice pop it on some kitchen roll
And the next one, I'm just going to turn that off now. Ooh, perfect. There we go. That's it. Just leave it to drain there for a couple of minutes. And, um, or a couple of moments. I'm going to get myself a plate. I'm actually only going to have a couple because it wasn't that long ago that um, Penny made his lunch. <laughs> but I'm just going to grab a couple. Mm. Oh, warm. And to go with that, I'm going to cut off a cheek of lemon. Just a little cheek. Cheeky cheek. buggers right <sighs> naughty right there we go give it a little bit of a squish it's still really hot do you that says oh my god so I'm off now into the living room in a sec but before I do I just grabbed a really good bit I'm gonna have a good nosh they'll probably end up being my breakfast to be honest right now huh. oh my god that's really good mm. do you hear the crunchy oh my god and that lemon just makes it amazing. Tanny, you want to try some? <laughs> we tried, right? <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Try something new. You know, it's not that hard. You got this. See you later, guys.